Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. I know that because I know what we're fixing to do. So, check this out. Some of you guys might be familiar. Springfield XD 4.5. It says it on here somewhere. Where does it say 4.5? On this side. Not only the XD, but XDM. Fiber optic sight. Pretty sweet. All the doodads, grip safety. I am a fan of the XDMs from Springfield. But you know what's better than one? Hey, check this out. Two of them. You know what's better than two of them? Three of them. <laughs> so this one I've actually got in a little sticky pocket holster because I carry it from time to time. I just got in those two others. This is my XDM. Is this the four? Yeah, this is the four and a half as well. This is my XDM Springfield in 10 millimeter. Like I said, I carry it from time to time. Nothing in it right now. Absolutely love this thing. If you haven't seen the videos on this one, go check it out. Can't mess with it. Like I said, red fiber optic front sight those in the rear and all the horsepower 10 millimeter i'm a big dude fits my hand good uh, but what's better than this one uh two more so check it out this right here is the springfield xdm replica from check it out pyramid air we got an air tank in the bottom show you that here quick loads up there in the bottom and when I say air tank let me show you one of these it is a co2 cartridge so your cartridge goes in the bottom just an allen key I thought I just took the bottom off of that allen key takes the cap out the bottom you put your cartridge in there bada bam bada boom you load up all your babies right here. It's real simple to load them in. And then you put this back on there. Let me slip it on there. Put it in and you're ready to go. So triple check. We got nothing in here. Oh, this one. Uh, we got about six or seven in here. So, I've already had these out to the range. This one and this one are both XDMs in .177 caliber. Meaning, they are BB slingers. Got both these in from Pyramid Air. You guys know I'm a big fan of Pyramid Air. Anything having to do with the BBs or the pellets or the high powered air stuff or the brake barrel air stuff or anything having to do with air. Pyramid Air has got it. But I've had those out to the range already a few times, having some fun and practicing with them. They're pretty sweet. But just for the sake of comparison, I did bring out my 10 millimeter here just to show you a real quick side by side. If I put this down on the table, you would not know that it is a 177 BB replica. Everything down to the slide serrations, to the fiber optics, everything. Pretty, pretty sweet. Even the, uh, the grips are a match. How cool is that? They really do a fantastic job of doing these replicas. Let me get this one and check it. This one's full too. I must have left the range in a hurry. Normally I I, uh, <laughs> I dump them all before I leave the range. But to give you an up close to this black one. Springfield Armory USA XDM. On the side. This side it has the 4.5. And like I said. This thing just sitting there. You would not know that it is a BB replica. All the way down to the very last detail let me show you the box here real quick people always want to see the box i'll show you the box that came in it says 
20 round magazine, authentic weight and balance. I'm reading this backwards here. What's it say? Field strips in seconds, real feel recoil. Like I said, this is the 177 caliber or 4.5, depending on where you're at. Anything else on here we need to know about? Uh, let's show you the back because that gives you all the info. Fiber optic sight, like I said, just like the the uh, actual ones from Springfield. Picatinny accessory rails, you can put your laser or whatever on there. Trigger safety, ambi mag release, includes interchangeable back straps, just like the real XDM. Functional grip safety, and a slide lock. 20 round mag, metal slide, rugged frame, 12 gram CO2 like I showed you, and then the box is up to 325 feet per second. But, like I said, I've had these out to the range several times already, plinking on some steel and some paper. Let's get out to the range and have a little bit of fun with these. Pretty, pretty sweet. If you have XDM, uh, like I do, you absolutely got to get one of these. Whole lot of fun. And, of course, uh, the BBs in this are a whole lot cheaper than the 10 millimeters right here. But let's head out to the range, see what we can do with it. All right, so here's what we got going on. We got the Silver Slide XDM 177 out here, and I got a whole bunch of paper plates. We're just gonna have some fun. Starting off, I'm just gonna really take my time and see where we're at and see what kind of groups we can get with this thing. But I'm gonna step back to about 10 paces and we'll see how we can do with this baby. Again, look at those sights, just like the actual XDM. Let's see what we can do with it. All right, so here's 10 paces here. I'll do these one-handed. Let's do, I don't know, a few on this plate right here. All right, now let's walk up to that plate and see how we did. So, one-handed there at 10 paces, that's how we did. Let's go to a clean plate, see if I can do a little bit better than that one. I think really taking my time, I can be a little more precise. Again, these are a little over 300 feet per second and it's not a rifle barrel we're slinging BBs but still we're not expecting same hole precision but we're still having some fun seeing how precise we can get I think we can do pretty good taking our time that one I squeeze a little high but So, took a little bit more time on that one. 10 paces or so. We definitely tightened up that group there. Man, that's a lot of fun. Went from that one, hitting a little low, aren't we? Just a shade low. Three inside of an inch there, and then I had two a little bit bigger. Let's do some more fun. Let me put some more fun reactive targets here i brought out some sodi pop cans for y'all up north we call them coke cans down here and believe it or not my squirrel targets i saved the toilet paper rolls because i figure that's about the size of a squirrel and if you can hit a toilet paper roll you can hit a squirrel so let's line up some of these cans and toilet paper rolls and see if we can plink them here with this springfield xd baby slinger all right, actually worked out. We had some twigs up here to hold up some cans and those toilet paper rolls. Now, keep in mind, we're still on that original CO2. I haven't been counting, but I don't know. I'm probably 30 in on this cartridge. I probably sent 10 or 15 before we turned the cameras on just to make sure the thing was working when we turned the cameras on, but let's about the same 10 paces or so. I didn't count that time, but close enough. 
almost hard to see the bottoms of those cans the way I got them hung up. Let's go for that can right there. Still one-handed. Oh man. Okay, that one's too hard. Let's go for the toilet paper rolls. They're up and down. We might have to take a couple steps closer. Oh, did I put a hole in that one? Okay. We're taking a couple steps closer. Right can right there. Now, remember we were hitting a little low, so I need to aim just a shade high. I hit it. It's shaking. Y'all see that can moving. Boonk. On the last one, hit it. Let's take a look at that. No, I missed that toilet paper roll. And I don't think I dinked that one. But I hit that one right in the crease. Let's reload and hit them some more. I need to get this one a little more sideways. Make it easier to get it, huh? Hold on, reload. All right, now, just because I know somebody's going to say, oh, you were one-handing the rest of them. I'm going to do some with two hands and this camera angle so we can make ultimately sure that I'm doing ultimate perfection my best doing this thing justice. About the same 10 paces or so. Can you guys see me here? Just like I would with my 10 millimeter. All right, two hand grip. Let's go up there, see what kind of group I got there. Hey, I was going kind of fast, but I was doing my best. With... And after we've already flung about 30, that's about the precision that I'm getting there. Now, we gotta have some more fun with these cans and toilet paper rolls. I won't step back quite this time. See what we can do here. One hand toilet paper roll. Come on, knock that thing down. We're hitting pretty much straight below the bullseye in that middle one, so if I aim for the top of it. Got it. Oh, I hit that too, but it didn't fall. One more step closer. Knock that one down. Now these soda cans. Oh, we're hitting it. It's just not falling down. And we're out. So, just so we can see the power of this thing. Definitely tearing holes in this side. Oh, wow. It did go out the other side. I would have thought it was catching them. Same thing on this one. It's going out the other side. Let's grab that black one real quick. All right. Now I got the black one. Same exact thing, just the black slide. Let's see how it's going. We'll do a, a clean paper plate down there. Well, let's go for that one on the top. Well, we'll make it this to make it the same. Make sure we're about that same 10 paces or so. About right here. Go for that top plate. And let's see how we did on that. That one. Oh, so this one right here was with the silver slide, and so was that one. Now that black one, yeah, I think I'm a little bit more consistent and uh, centered around the bullseye. But there you have it, guys. What's more fun than one XDM BB slinger? <laughs> How about two of them? Having a whole lot of fun out here today, running these things. Like I said, I've had these out to the range two or three times already having some fun putting them through their play paces and whatnot stay tuned we're going to do some more with these probably take them to the steel range that's fun to hear them ping see how far we can stretch them out but especially if you have a springfield xdm hey awesome awesome trainer like i showed you in my office they're exactly the same as my 10 millimeter come with the different grips everything you can literally set it up just like your xdm pyramid air they got all this stuff and a whole lot more appreciate y'all watching make sure you're subscribed got that notification bell wrong we'll see you on the next one Hoo -hoo.